Dustin, um, can we start with the, the guys who were a bit bruised after that one? Rory Lobb and Nathan Wilson. Have you got an update as yet on those guys? Uh, yeah, Rory, well, I haven't um, got... Um, I can just tell you what happened in game. I haven't spoken to the doctors yet. But, yeah, Rory got a knock to the chest. Um, he was a bit short of breath. And, um, yeah, we had Miki there as a, as a, as a sub. Um, so to speak. So we decided to get him into the game. Uh, as you would know, yeah, Will's got that hit to the shoulder. So he's pretty sore and um, sorry for himself. So, yeah, we'll just have to get it scanned. I'm not going to guess on what it is. Um, but, yeah, he's pretty sore and um, obviously sore, sore enough not to come back on. So we just have to get it scanned and let you know when we know more. Yep. So was Rory... A concern at all, or, or more just a bit of soreness and, and get <coughs> more, more a bit of soreness, done. more a bit of soreness. Yeah, we're we're pretty confident he'll be right. Um, yeah, he he wanted to come back on, and it's just one of those things when we had a talk sitting on the bench. There's just no risk. Yep. Um, did you get what you wanted to out of the contest? Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought it was a good hit out for us. Uh, I thought West Coast they yeah, really up their intensity around the ball. Uh, their pressure and hunt and their work rate from contest to contest. I thought it was exactly what we needed going into round one. Um, yeah, so we've had a good prep. Um, we'll need to work hard over the next two weeks to get a fair bit right and, yeah, bring it on. Well, it's pre-season, Justin. Um, the fact that you won by so much last week and everyone was talking you up, we know last year it was a challenge to back up the next week and perform. How did you think they handled the, the, the talk about them this week and then taking that onto a field, even though it was the pre-season game? Uh, mm, oh, it's too hard to cast them now. I, I thought I thought some didn't and some did. I, I, mean, I thought we had some good performances. I thought we had some players who were really strong in the contest and were up for the fight. And then there's a few that thought it was going to be um, as easy as last week. And... Um, yeah, we knew and we prepared really strongly for West Coast to bring what they brought today. So, um, yeah, it's something we need to keep working at. Oh, we're, yeah, I, know I thought some of the some of the talk for after last week's game was just, yeah, it was. We, yeah, I thought people were getting ahead of themselves, and um, now hopefully our players didn't get ahead of themselves. It was a preseason game, um, and uh, yeah, it's an interesting concept coming up against the same team twice in in, um, in two weeks and you know we, we knew and we prepared really strongly for West Coast to bring that effort and um, yeah I thought we didn't handle it as well as we could have as a team as a collective so uh, I said to the players um, after the game you know we've got a lot of work to do and um, you know, in some sense I'd, I'd rather I'd rather that sort of a contest tonight than um, yeah, and us winning easily. So uh, it'll set us up well, well for round one, that one. Where do you think you sit in terms of your overall pre-season performance and the improvement from last season now? I think we've improved. I think we're, we're fitter. I think we're stronger. Um, I think elements of our game have improved. But the, the challenge for us is to make sure we uh, take every game on its, on its merits and we're willing to, to do the work week in, week out. And I, I didn't think we were, I thought we got outworked today in some areas of the game and that's not good enough. So, um, yeah, I've got to understand that some of our deficiencies um, aren't going to, uh, aren't easy fixes and some of them are going to take a little bit of time. And uh, I think the last couple of weeks has been, has been really good for us. Chad, is you there? Yep, I'll jump in. Thanks for that. Um, he didn't have his kicking boots on today, but Michael Frederick, he looks ready to take his game to the next level this year. What, what have you made of his preseason and what do you think is in store for him? It's been really strong. Um, he's a really humble uh, kid who just loves to, love, um, loves to come to work and get better. And um, I think what we've seen the last couple of weeks is he's not just relying on his um, brilliant speed. Um, he's he's uh, mixed a bit of forward craft and into his, into his game and his um, yeah, I think his aerial work's shone out, shone out the last couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, he's one of a number of players that have, have worked really hard in their game and um, look like their games are in good order leading into round one. And your two new recruits as well, Clark and, and Brody, they look set 
some pretty important <clears throat> roles. What, what do you think the year holds for them? Time will tell. Uh, one week at a time. I mean, um, yeah, they've had strong pre-seasons, both of them. Um, they're fitted into the group really well. Uh, yeah, they join a number of players that just need to make sure that they bring the same effort, same application each week. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, whether they've done, both done enough to warrant a game in round one, time will tell. Um, we've had some really good performances uh, at Peel over the last couple of weeks. And, yeah, we'll, we've got a bit of time to see what shape our, our, our round one team holds, but um, they've definitely put their hand up with not just what they've done the last two weeks, but what they've done. Um, yeah, big, a large body of work since we started pre-season. Yep, cool. Thanks for that. With the, the backline depth that you've got at the moment, Justin, where does Heath Chapman fit into that mix? He, he seemed to give you a lot today. Oh, yeah. Well, the beauty about Chappie is he can play tall and small. I um, love the way he attacked the contest and was really aggressive with his positioning and his attack on the footy and um, he likes to make things happen with the ball. So um, he's really flexible. He's a really flexible player and we'll continue to use him in a number of roles. The senior guys that you, you brought back into the team today, did they all get what they needed as far as minutes and, or I guess, performance flies from your point of view? I think... Yeah, when you look at the names on paper, you think they're just going to jump in and, and play um, up to their best. And I, I don't think they did that tonight. Um, and um, they've got a bit of work to do, but it's, it's early in pre-season. It's, sorry, it's not early in pre-season. It's some of their first hit-outs against another team um, against pretty well, a high-pressure, in a high-pressure game. So, um, yeah, I thought they got what they wanted out of it from a hit-out point of view and in, prepara in a preparation in round one. But, you know, like a lot of players, probably a little bit of work to do before they're cherry ripe. And we understood that going into the game today. So I think, um, yeah, like I said before, it's, it was a good hit-out for us in, in a number of fronts and shows that we've got a bit of work to do individually and as a team before round one. Given that there seems to be a few things that you, you still want tidied up before round one, does that last intra club for you next weekend become quite important? Oh, there's a number of ways we can do that. Um, yeah, we, we do a number of breakdown drills at training. We'll target that. Um, we won't necessarily, oh, we haven't worked out how much match sim we need to do next week. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll work that out during the week. Um, but we'll have three or four good training sessions where we'll give players plenty of opportunity to work on their games individually and us collectively as a team with a few things we need to tidy up. And just lastly from me, that you mentioned that it's a, an interesting concept to play the same team twice. Would you have preferred to have been able to mix up the, the teams that you have a look at this preseason, it sounds like? I think, I, I, personally, I would. Um, but given this, the current COVID situation, it didn't make a lot of sense. So um, we take what we can get and do what we're told and played West Coast twice. Um, it's just, yeah, we you know, had a good win last week. Um, you know, some of our players might have been accept, expecting the same as much as we told them that wouldn't happen. I mean, we went through the same thing last year. So, um, you know, probably just different styles of game. You get, get a look at as well if you play another team. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. Um, we understand the current climate and the risks involved in bringing other teams to town or us going um, elsewhere. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a much improved West Coast. They would have been really happy with what they brought to the table tonight. So, um, it was, it was a yeah, hard-fought game for us, which is what we needed.